Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to talk about solving word problems involving inverse variation. Alright! Okay, let's have an example. Okay, in this word problem, we have the basis of triangles having equal areas are inversely proportional to their altitudes. The base of a certain triangle is 24 centimeters and its altitude is 30 centimeters. Find the base of a triangle whose altitude is 40 centimeters. So in this word problem, we have two different triangles with the same area. First triangle having the dimension of having the base, having a base of 24 centimeters and the altitude of 30 centimeters. And the second triangle is we're looking for the base with the altitude of 40 centimeters. Based on the problem, they are inversely proportional to their altitude okay so now let's have our representation for our representation we have two variables that are given we have the basis of the triangles and the altitude so let b be equal to the basis of a triangle and a be the altitude of a triangle now let's have our equation or let's translate the first sentence Knowing that the bases of a triangle having equal areas are inversely proportional to their altitude, since we use the word inversely proportional, this is a case of inverse variation. So in this case, we will have an equation of B, the base of a triangle, is equal to the constant variation divided by our altitude. So we have this equation. Now let's proceed to our solution. Knowing that we have a pair of the base and altitude, we need to get our constant variation in order for us to get the base of our second triangle. Okay, so here we will use the equation and substitute 24 and 30 as the first pair of our given triangle in order for us to get the constant variation. We substitute the given and then multiply both sides by 30. So 30 times 24, we will get a constant variation, which is 72. Okay, then after that, knowing that we have the constant variation already, we can now solve for the base of a triangle whose altitude is 40 centimeters. Using again the same equation, then substituting the constant variation and our new altitude, dividing them, we will get 18 centimeters. Therefore, we can now conclude that the base of a triangle is 18 centimeters. So the base of the triangle whose altitude is 40 centimeters is 18 centimeters. All right. Okay, let's have another word problem. Okay, in this word problem, the number of hours required to do a job varies inversely as the number of people working together. If it takes 8 hours for 5 people to paint a house, or how long will it take for 12 people to paint the house? Okay, in order for us to do this, First, we need to get our representation. What are the two variables present in our word problem? So looking at our first sentence, we have the number of hours and we have the number of people. They are the two variables that are present in our word problem. So let h be equal to our the number of hours required to do a job. Okay, and let's have p for the number of people working together. Then after having your representation, we can now proceed to translating our first sentence, formulating our equation. Or since we use the phrase varies inversely, we're going to use inverse variation. Now in this case, our dependent variable will be the number of hours and then our independent variable is our number of people working together. Okay, so our translation or our equation will be h, number of hours, is equal to the constant variation over our number of people working together. So this will be the equation that we're going to use in order for us to get our missing variable. In our given, we already have one pair of number of hours and number of people and that is 8 hours for 5 people to paint a house. So we're going to use that to get our constant variation that will help 
to solve our next pair of H and P. Okay, so let's have our solution. Using the same formula and using the first pair of H and P, which is hours, 8 hours, and 5 people, we will substitute this to our given equation. So, substituting, okay, we have 8 is equal to K over 5. Multiplying both sides by 5 to get the constant variation, we will get K is equal to 40. Now that we got our constant variation, we can now solve our number of hours for 12 people to paint the house by simply using the same formula and substituting the constant variation and the number of people painting the house. So substituting them, we have 40, the constant variation, divided by 12 because we changed the number of people to 12. So it will take them 10 over 3 hours or 3.33 hours. Okay, so, so we can now conclude that our final answer, it will take 3.33 hours for 12 people to paint the house. Alright, okay, let's have another word problem. So for example, we have the intensity of the light from a bulb is inversely proportional to its square of the distance from the bulb. Now, if the intensity of the bulb is 90 watts per, per square meter, when the distance is 20 meters, find the intensity of the bulb at a distance of 10 meters. Okay, so now we're going to solve. First thing that we need to do is for us to form our representation. So for our representation, let's identify the variables that are present in our word problem. So in this case, in this case, our variable will be the, the intensity of the light from a bulb and the square distance from the bulb. So first, let I be equal to the intensity of the light. Let D be equal to the distance from the bulb. So now let's proceed to our translation. So for our translation, since we use the phrase inversely proportional, we will be dealing with inverse variation. So the intensity of the light, which is I, is equal to the constant variation divided by the square distance from a bulb. So our distance should be squared. Now, looking at our given, we have a pair of intensity and distance, which is 90 watts per square meters, and then with a distance of 20 meters. Now, we're looking for the intensity of the bulb at a distance of 10 meters. So, so the next thing that we're going to do is for us to get the constant variation. So to get that, we will use first pair of intensity and distance and substitute that to our equation. So we have I is equal to K over D squared. Then we substitute our pair of intensity and distance to our equation. Simplifying this by multiplying both sides by 20 squared. Multiplying them, we will get our constant variation, which is 36,000. Now that we know our constant variation, we can now solve for the intensity of the bulb at a distance of 10 meters by using the same equation. This time, we're going to substitute our constant variation and the distance of 10 meters. Okay, so we have 36,000 divided by 10 squared. And simplifying this, we have I is equal to 360 watts per square meter. We can now conclude our final answer, which is the intensity of the bulb at a distance of 10 meters, is 360 watts per square meters. Alright. Now that you already know how to solve word problems involving inverse variation, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video.